Hi guys, welcome to another vlog video. In October, I was in Paris and as you may know, it was the Rugby World Cup. I am not a super big fan of rugby. I mean, although I do like to watch rugby because I think it's like a very masculine sport and it's quite nice to watch. I mean, apart from when they get really hurt, that's like really painful to watch. But apart from that, I think it's a nice sport. But my boyfriend Charles, he really, really loves rugby. So I had to be a bit supportive and follow him sometimes on uh, his rugby adventures. And, you know, at that time, Paris was really nice because the weather was still great. So I want to show you a bit of Paris as well and how nice it was when the weather was still good. As soon as it started to get really cold, I actually left back to Athens. This is the opera place. I'm like doing kind of a Paris tour for you. This is, this is Bourse. And we are getting closer to Concorde and on Concorde there was the Rugby Village. The Rugby Village was a place where you can watch the rugby with Eiffel Tower view. They had like big screens and bars and stuff and food. So it was a super nice setup actually. We are going to watch the game Ireland and Scotland. <laughs> Charles dancing on the back pipes music. It's good that they had security and they will also scan you and scan your bag like at the airport. So that was really good. So this is the rugby village. You can see there are two big screens and I think on the other side as well, there are two more big screens. And we even had a concert of bagpipes. That was super fun. Later, I'm gonna show you the rugby game where France was playing. You will see the difference in the crowd. Like that was crazy, like so crowded. But yeah, it was super cool, you know, lots of uh, Irish and Scottish people all around Paris. We could see them everywhere in the street. It was so much fun. It was nice to see so many international people. Look at that, I love it. The dressing, everything. What I love about rugby is that people really have good vibes. You know, they're here to enjoy the game and enjoy with their friends. And it's, all, it's really, really good vibes. We were so lucky to find a very good spot to watch the game. Little moment where I noticed that the Eiffel Tower was shining. This is so beautiful. Literally, I think this is why I accepted to go to the rugby village. No, I'm joking. It was actually fun to see the whole setup and stuff, but oh my God, so beautiful. And this is us. Lol. <laughs> okay, so what happened is that a day or two before, Charles' bike um, got a flat tire. So on the way back, we tried to take his bike with us. So he's like in front of me, uh, holding his bike that is broken on one hand and holding the bike he's currently driving with on the other hand. So <laughs> we drove a bit like that for a bit of time, but then it got too painful for him. So thank God we got closer to his place and then walked for the rest of the trip. We went to this restaurant and it was so funny. Someone was doing the birthday and look at that, the vibe and they put the lights down and everyone was singing. It was so much fun. Like I've never seen that before in a restaurant in Paris. This was so cool, seriously. And then the whole restaurant was like engaged and stuff. You want to know which restaurant it was? It was this one. <laughs> this is the Canal Saint Martin, and I have to say that since I have access to this canal, it's such a game changer. Like just to see the water when you go out of your flat is like amazing. To be honest, I now kind of love Paris again. <laughs> It was so beautiful, the weather was so amazing. We went to the park on the weekend and there was some live music. This is the band.
Paris was so cool. I actually stayed three weeks, I think. I think a weather like that in October is not normal. It's probably due to the climate change. But still, I was enjoying it so much. Did you know that when you put your feet on the floor, you are getting the electrons and all the energy of Mother Earth? So as soon as you have the occasion, just put your bare feet on the floor. So you too can recharge your energy with the energy of planet Earth. Paris was so nice because of the weather. Seriously, I don't know how I lived 10 years in London with the bad weather because my soul just craves good weather all the time. This is a park for dogs. So if you like dogs, you know where to go. Very nice contrast, you know, having the dog playing on one side and the guys playing basket on the other side. Like everyone just looks really happy. It's so cute. I love this neighborhood, seriously. It's like so nice. Wow, look at this car. This is me taking a matcha latte and sitting while I'm listening to a podcast or a book, I don't remember. Just me alone enjoying my life while Charles is working, <laughs> living my best life. Then that night we went to see Sebastian Marx. Seriously, it was hilarious. He was so good, I really, really recommend his show. And then we went to have a little drink at Soho House Paris. Yes, I'm not supposed to film anything, but the most important is to not film the people that go there, you know, for privacy reasons. And I took this dessert because I just wanted to eat something. I don't know. It's my pêche mignon. I like to try food wherever I go. Oh my god, let me show you this too. This guy went to take his baguette at the bakery with this collection, Carla. This is so funny. And then we went to eat at my mom. My mom, she lives a little bit outside of Paris, near the Man River. And on the way back, we passed by this beautiful bridge and we took some videos. It was so beautiful. This, year, this is near a town called Nogent. It's kind of the east suburbs of Paris. I think I'm obsessed with the water. Like everywhere I can see water, I just love it. Okay, now these are the serious things starting. So first of all, it started to get cold, okay. And tonight is France playing. So. <laughs> Can I say that I think Charles is really lucky to have a girlfriend like me that I accept to live at night in the cold, uh, you know, follow him to go and watch a rugby game and stay two hours standing up in the cold to watch his favorite team playing, I mean, the French team playing. I mean, to be honest, I would not have done it on my own. Like, literally, I do that too. You know, sometimes I have to be a supportive girlfriend, so it's okay, you know. To That's what we have to do sometimes. And to be honest, I was curious to see how, you know, what will happen, the whole thing. So um, this, so we're getting closer. There was a lot of security, which was good. So this was the queue outside. You cannot imagine that like, there was... Uh, three or four, no, maybe more, like six entrances, and the queue was huge, huge, huge queue. I did a little trick, so we didn't do so much queue, actually. We got in pretty fast. And this was before the march started, and it's already almost full. I mean, people were crazy. The vibe where was crazy.
oh my god i didn't see this girl did this next to me so we put some painting on our cheeks you know for the french flag to be honest i think i'm getting very sensitive to people's energy because i started to have a headache and i don't know i was a bit anxious to be next to so many people I don't know, maybe because since the lockdown, you know, we were so much at home and I spent so much time at home and, and on my own that I'm just not used to have so many people like that around me and maybe I'm getting sensitive to the energies. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this is the French anthem. The game was so intense and I think they're gonna goal very soon. I don't know if we say goal or how we say in rugby terms, but wait for it. <laughs> Someone is happy. <laughs> Wait to see at the end what happened. <laughs> it's a completely different vibe. Me, I'm just observing, you know, I'm like, I feel like an imposter here, you know. This was the break in the middle. We actually went on the other side because our side was so crowded that, as I said, I didn't feel well. I felt like, I don't know, overwhelmed and too crowded. So we went to the other side where we have more space. And it was much better, to be honest. Maybe I should invest in a camera soon because I'm filming all this with my iPhone. And yeah, the quality is not so great. <laughs> Charles living his best life. <laughs> Okay, so I thought this was funny. I'm like, what are they doing? It's something they do in the south of France or something. And so I was filming it. And then, wait for it. Next thing you know, I'm like filming. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? This is Charles, <laughs> basically. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Either they're not strong enough or you're too heavy, babe. <laughs> As you can see the score is so close like 25-29 like so so close it was so tense the whole game 28-29 so close It's almost the end, very soon. Everyone is so tense, like we just need one point, just one. 40 seconds left. I mean, you probably know already what's the result at the end, who won. To be honest, I don't know much about rugby, but apparently it was a really good game and France was really, really, played really well. And it's over, everyone is so disappointed, like seriously. Some people were crying, like everyone got so quiet. Oh, it was so sad. Look at that. Everyone is like so sad, so quiet, going back home. Oh, it was really so sad. I'm so lucky that Charles is really, really organized. So before the uh, game ended, he reserved the bike and we could go home quickly. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and stay tuned for the next one.
Bye.